in the Bay Area has a unique perspective. They emigrated from the Soviet Union just six years ago. Tonight, we talked with them about the Gorbachev visit. Also in Washington today, Mr. Gorbachev's foreign minister met with Secretary of State... Like many people in the Bay Area, Lee Altus has been closely following this week's summit meeting in Washington. But unlike most, he has the perspective of one who's grown up in the Soviet Union. Relations between, I mean, the United States and Russia, I mean, they've always been like, kind of like enemies, mm -hmm. and now they're actually, you know, starting to become friends, and they should have done that a long time ago. Lee, his mother and family immigrated to the United States six years ago. He says life there was hard, especially for Soviet Jews. Even the routine is very different. You have everything so much here that people actually take advantage of it, and they don't appreciate it. They want more and more. The people over there, they they never seen anything like this. When we came here and me and my mom went to Safeway, it was like a museum for me. Lee has welcomed the changes. When he had to give up his childhood sport of ice hockey when his family settled in San Francisco, he picked up the guitar and formed his own band. His group plays music that he never heard while growing up. His heavy metal band, Heathen, has sold 50,000 records, and they even have their own music video. Lee says he hopes the talks between world leaders will open the way for more exchanges. Up until a year ago, he couldn't even send a tape of his music back home. My friends in Russia and let them hear it because they're just really surprised that I'm doing this. It's like really exciting to them. Lee's mother hopes life may be different now that the two countries have better relations. I think that's very, very good for all of people, for peace, for um, the world. That's, that's very good. The Altus family is hoping the new climate of friendship will open up other opportunities for them. Lee says his dream is to tour the Soviet Union with his band. Joel 